Hi. I took a break from animating for... Mostly because of Voxel Venture, which we'll discuss later. But I'm back now anyway. Yay. Cartoon for sound effect. So I haven't got any other animation software right now, so currently I'm using Fubacup. I'm not going to use Adobe Anime in the future though. No, I have something better. Blender. Blender is a program modeling 3D source and open animation that is very powerful. I plan on eventually making my own animation editor in Blender to streamline animation. <laughs> to streamline animation. And I also plan on using Blender to make assets for games and assets for animations and lots of other things. That's for later though. I'll have to learn lots of Blender, Blender. before I can do that. Ah. Yeah, so these are the things that I'll be learning in the next few years. Hang on, let me... They say you need 10,000 hours to master something. Times 7, over 24, over 365. Yeah, yeah nobody, nobody got, got time for that. that. You know that thing about having to use your brain a lot or else it'll fall out? Yeah, I'm not letting it fall out. I am not falling off the graph. I'm gonna talk about Unity now. Over a month ago now, I started working on this game. It's kinda like a Just Shapes and Beats clone, but not. It's called Just Cubes and Balls. You control the titular cube and try to avoid the titular balls. There's lots of exciting ideas I've had as to what will happen to the game. However, I stopped working on it for a while due to other things. But I plan on working on it a lot more. And turning it into content, of course. So I'll hopefully be making devlogs on it, if I can learn how to do that. You see this? This is important. The video is just some gameplay is boring. You need editing and animation and stuff to make it entertaining. Do you remember War with the Hamster Brothers? That's a prime example of boring content. I may or may not end up making a better video about it. Anyway, I'll have to find an editing program soon. However, I have been seeing a trend as of late. I've seen lots of well edited and well produced videos, but the channels that posted them only have a few tens of thousands of subscribers at most. Hopefully that's just me seeing things, and I hope that I don't end up like them. I'd rather end up as the next Danny, not as the next Wavetro. Oh yeah, speaking of Wavetro, around the time he quit YouTube, he posted a video where he discussed a lot of stuff, but I'm going to focus on his analysis of the YouTube algorithm. The gist of it is that, among other things, originality isn't always good. Now, I don't think I'll alienate people with my level of originality. I'm part of the anime storytelling niche, which is already quite saturated, and a lot of existing anime storytellers are quite popular. Also, my character design is quite similar to Circle Man, who has almost 20 million subscribers. And a lot of existing anime storytellers are very popular. As for future animations, well, for one, I'll probably make some voxel adventure animations. A while back, I wrote some scripts for videos where I detail the release of several updates and the stuff that happened, but I'll have to retrieve my old computer, and there's going to be more ideas that I'll come up with. There's also quite a few regular animations I've already planned. And finally, for the zero people that occur, Inception Boam. Louder and deeper Inception Boam.